Hey there, Chuck Norris. <laughs> How's the hand? Uh, excruciating. Mm. How's Ron and Esposito? Hmm. Mild hypothermia, wounded pride. Guess which one will heal first. Of all these words, my promises we can keep together. Thank you. For having my back in there. Always. Yes, fine. It's true. I'm jealous. There. I said it. I... I want you all to myself, and to have you spending time with another writer, that upsets me, and it... If that makes me petty, so be it. Guilty as charged. Actually, I kind of think it's sweet. You do? I do. And that's why you don't have to worry about me hanging around with Conrad anymore. From now on, I'm a one writer girl. Thank you. Always. She can leap tall buildings in a single bound, carries the weight of the world on her shoulders, yet still manages to laugh at some of my jokes. She sounds like a handful. Tell me about it. Anyway, if you do see her, tell her she owes me about a hundred coffees. Castle? Thank you. For what? for not pushing and giving me the space to get through this. Always. Do you think we should have told Joe and Vera about the blue butterfly? Oh, no, why ruin it for them? No, that's the stuff the dreams are made of. Tell me you love me, Joe. Always. no matter what. They are our solid ground. Our North Star. And the small clear voices in our hearts that will be with us. 
always. What happens to you after? Assuming we're both not killed, I, I disappear. No, but we just, that's the job. That's my life. Yeah, but we uh, we just met. I mean, I got a lot of questions. A lot of things I want to say. I don't, I don't, I, I need to have more time. Maybe we can do that sometime, you know, someday. How will I know if you made it? Oh, you won't, not officially at least. I know this has been tough for you, Richard. Uh, I just want you to know, son, I've always been proud of you. Always. Thank you for staying with me. Always. Perfect You good? Yeah, did you see it? No. Glad to see you, Detective. Even you, Mr. Castle. I have to say, I don't know too many men who would have done what you did. Neither do I. Oh, for heaven's sake, Detective. Just kiss the man. Sir, you know? What? Do you think I'm an idiot? I needed to maintain plausible deniability, which I can continue, as long as you two both act professionally at the precinct. I know I can, but Captain, she has a long history of coming on to me at work. I don't think it'll be a problem, sir. Good. Meanwhile, as long as we're on neutral ground here, I'd say uh, he deserves it, wouldn't you? Yes, sir, I would. Dear Rick, I don't know how much time I have even to write this letter. What I do know now is that I'm in this, and the only way I'm going to make it out alive is to see this through. I'm sure everyone is looking for me, and if they figure out I was here, CSU's gonna search this house. They're gonna look for blood, and they will find it, which will lead them to this letter. Babe, it's your letter, and I hope you never have to read this, that I can tell you all of these things in person, but if something happens and I don't make it, I need you to know that our partnership, our relationship, is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. You're an amazing man, and I love you with all of my heart. Always. Kate. Castle? A memory card. Yeah, there were three of them in three separate envelopes. One for Alexis, one for my mother, and one for you. What's on it? Lunch. Kate, if you're seeing this... Well, if you're seeing this, I'm probably dead. I want you to know I never intended to leave you not like this, not on our wedding day, but I, I, it wasn't my choice. I wish I could tell you what's going on. I wish I could explain, but just know that I love you. I've always loved you. Always. Wounds to Alexis and my mother were pretty much the same. Kate, what did I do? Mm. I don't know. I don't. But maybe there's a way we can find out. 
forward to tomorrow's adventures. And when I was vulnerable, you were strong. I love you, Richard Castle. And I want to live my life in the warmth of your smile and the strength of your embrace. I promise you, I will love you. I will be your friend and your partner in crime and in life. became extraordinary. You taught me more about myself than I knew there was to learn. You are the joy in my heart. You're the last person I want to see every night when I close my eyes. I love you, Catherine Beckett. And the mystery of you is the one I want to spend the rest of my life exploring. I promise to love you, to be your friend, and your partner in crime, and life, till death do us part, and for the time of our lives. <laughs> by the power vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> 